Hello, my name is Jacob Rodriguez, and this is my MIT Maker portfolio. I I made this hat wall, which which is pretty cool, and I made a two guitar stands. But, anyways, let's get to the fun stuff. So this is my orbital rocketry simulator. I started off as a project for my AP Computer Science Principles course, but I continued developing it so I can use it to simulate my own rocket launches. The program follows a protocol that lets a user create a virtual rocket and guides them through finding air resistivity, thrust to rate ratios, and ultimately whether the rocket could reach geostationary orbit, Earth Moon Langarian points, or even Mars. Now for the final project in my MIT MOSTEC machine learning course, my partner and I developed an algorithm that identifies exoplanets using data directly from the NASA Kepler satellite. By analyzing the relationship between coy scores and light curve intensities, we are able to identify exoplanets with a 94% accuracy rate. I now hope to recreate the algorithm so it takes data from the test satellite at MIT instead since Kepler was recently decommissioned. Okay, now this one's a fun one. So as president and software lead for my FRC robotics team, me and my partner decided to create a program that allows our robot to drive smooth curves autonomously. So in order to do this, we use a process called Quintic Kermit Spline Interpolation, which allowed us to generate 4th degree polynomial curves given distance and angle to a final position. Our results look a little like this. Cool, right? So basing off our work in 2018, I wanted to make the motion profile generator more customizable so that any FRC team can drive similar curves. In order to do this, I made a separate program that allows users to enter parameters specific to their spline path to generate a cubic Kermit spline that can be put in the place of the pre-existing Quintet. Hopefully, I can pair this project with the current spatial perception technology in the Spark Lab at MIT so curves can be generated in response to the robot's actual environment, which will be really cool. 